He got it. He got it. That was my bird, dude. dude that's he bird. got it. That was my bird. You got him. Totally different bird. Beautiful bird. That was, uh... Just woke up at camp. It got pretty chilly last night. I don't think we had a heavy frost, but it was about, I would say 35 degrees. What do you say, buddy? You hungry? Then you want to go get some birds? Got some eggs, bacon, and coffee going. And you want to get back out for birds. I don't know that this morning could be any prettier. It could be a little warmer, but this is amazing. There's no one else here. It's just silent. Sun's coming up over the lake. I cannot wait to hit these trails today, buddy. It's going to be unreal. We're going to go out for probably four hours or so this morning, probably hunt from like eight or nine-ish to noon, and then head back down to the cities. We're at our first spot here, going in on an ATV trail. We're going to walk it until we get to a 2005 cut, and then we're going to walk through that cut and see if we can get anything out of there. There's a nice wetland right here <clears throat> to our right. I could really see us seeing them on the side of the trail here. Right in between the main road over there and the wetland here. Yep. Mac thinks so too. It's in the tree. In the tree yep. I see it. I got it too. You want to take it? Go for it. Nope, because I'm an idiot. Oh my gosh. How did I just flat out miss it twice? I should have had you take it, dude. That's my bad. Okay. No, that's my bad. What did I say? Right up next to this wetland. There's, there could be another one, buddy. Yep. Take that next time. Don't let me... Don't let me talk you out of that. If Did you have, like, a super clear shot, too? Pretty, uh... About that. Settle, no bird, no bird. That was a really good hey, man, no bird, good job. You got him right up in the tree. This looks good. Good cover down here. Yeah. Really good cover. He's on something. Oh, right in the trail. See him? Yep. Man, stay, stay, Mac. stay. Mac. Okay, good catch. I hope the GoPro picked that up. It flew about two feet off the ground. Came up here a good ways. It could have also hit up afterwards. He might be on it. It was right next to us on this side. Did you hit it? I don't know. It was pretty close on it. It was thick. Yeah. Wow, this is like absolute grouse territory. This is so thick. You shot right up this hill, basically. No bird. That's okay. I didn't see any feathers. Dang, I wish he would have flushed left first because he went right and then left. I know. Um, that was a toughie. That was really, really thick alders in there. Young, bushy alders that are poking right at your face. That was a good shot on your part. I held back, I would have shot right past Kraus. And I did not want to blow out your eardrum. <laughs> There's a bird in here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah? No, you hit one. Oh, there's two of them then. Yeah. Is the there one's up in the tree? I still see it. It's too far to shot for me. Where? Uh, so if you look at me, yeah. straight in, he's about 20 feet up into the tree. 
I don't see it, buddy. Do you still see it? Uh, I swear to God, it landed right in there. Unless I, I don't know, I... Did you get the first grouse? Uh, we'll get it. I, I trust him. Okay. Nice shot, buddy. I think that other one dipped off pretty far. I know, but I saw a second and or a third one and it, it took off far. It went back across this swamp over here. If we didn't have Max nose, we would have never known those birds were there. I tell you, he is actually really, really improving his smelling skills. Good job, buddy. Mac. Good job, Max. Good job, buddy. Good job. Yeah, they one of them just sat right up in one of these spruce trees for kraus. I, I did not have a good view of it. And the other one, or two, I think flush back. So we're up to three flushes, no, four, five flushes and four or five different birds maybe. Here's all the feathers from where Kraus hit his. You already got it in your vest? Cool. Dude, this, spot is epic. this spot is great. <laughs> Not telling anyone where we're hunting today. <laughs> I'm gonna change out. Too, dude. It was a little farther. There was a lot of feathers there, buddy. That was a good shot. I'm proud of you. Twice. No, no licking that. Dingus. Come here. Water. That was a little cubby, huh? That was our first cubby. So I don't know if when this battery just cut out on this, but that would be super unfortunate. We were in the exact same spot that we got the first two. And then we were about to walk out and continue up this trail. And Kraus goes, I just saw it and heard it come down. And we walked right back to where I was just standing looking for the bird. And it's just chilling there on the ground. We think his first shot might have stunned it. And it was just sitting on the ground. I had a nice shot lined up. Mac was nowhere near him on the ground. So I felt comfortable to take the shot. I didn't want a chance of him getting away if he had already been injured. So made sure to put it down. We're on two grouse today. A lot of flushes. Probably like seven. And it's only half hour into the day, I think. I think I picked the right trail. I have scarring on my eardrums, so I can't hear anything. I can't smell anything, but I'll put us in the right spot. That's why I need Mac and Kraus with me to ever have a good hunting day. <laughs> they are all over this area. This is so As you can crazy. see, a lot of wetland around here. With how, with how dry out it was this year, I think that drove a lot of the birds to stay near wet sources. And I've had luck all year long so far next to wetland edges. Mac's nosy. Mac is nosy again. There's a clearing up there, so this is definitely a normal spot to see one. Right there. I got him. Got him. Nice Mac. Dead bird! Dead bird! Place! Dead bird! Dead bird! That's crazy. I was like a lot farther away from you. Good boy. Come here. Good boy. Hey, gentle. Gentle. Place, place. Place right here. It's, sorry. Good boy. 
That's a big one, dude. And actually, not really. What's that? Oh, it's still alive. I believe that's a female. Do they, uh. Red face. Do they tag grubs? I've never seen it or heard of it, but maybe. Maybe. We might limit it on this trail, bro. Good job, man. All right, given so given how like crazy this trail has been, I do want to walk down this left yeah. side. This one trail has produced more than all of our trails yesterday, I feel like. We didn't have a bad day yesterday. We saw a lot of birds, but this trail, we are just flushing them yeah. left and right. Thank you. And uh, the nice thing is, is they're going up into trees for us, whereas usually, you know, they're just straight flushing away. It's going well. It's a productive day so far. Three birds. Lesson of the day, at least for me with Mac, when he's hitting something, trust him. <laughs> he has been on birds this weekend. His nose is not failing us right now. That's for dang sure. Oh, this might be it. A little turnaround. Cool. What do you got, buddy? He's on something. Heel. Birdie. Missed it, didn't see it. Missed it twice. Two birds. I thought I did. Maybe Max on it. Yeah. I'll walk towards it. That first one I did, I missed it entirely. We just missed another one. Just now? Yeah. Where? I just heard it. That might have been the first one. I'm gonna walk towards that second one. This way. Good boy. All right. My bad. Mac, that's their trail from where they jumped from. That's where they were. I respect it, buddy, but they're gone. Sorry about that. I should have gotten you into a spot to shoot too. I just bounced after him. I can't hold him back for long, I feel like. Mac. Water. Ow! Walked into a log that was pointing at me. Shredded them. I thought these were gonna be good for another year. They're nice pants. They're so lightweight, they just don't stop brush. A little weather update. We're getting some pretty good 10, 15 mile an hour gusts of wind right now. Makes it difficult flushing birds, but we'll probably keep at it for a little while here. Max still seems somewhat into it. He's pretty tired. We're all pretty drained after two days. Eight and a half miles yesterday, a lot of it through thick brush. So far, at least three or four today. Um, the second we got away from the wetland areas, we started seeing a lot fewer birds. So right now, my idea is that we just focus on spots near water, wetland, swamp edges, stuff like that. Mackie, did you smell something? Go in.
Hit it. Mac! Stay. I don't know. We know right where it is. I have that one in perfect view too. You, I think your spray might have been too wide, so but that doesn't make sense. We know it's right at the end of the trail and you hit it. It's injured. That was weird. Feathers. So you no, hit it. Just flushed. I heard it. Off our left, yeah. I heard it, didn't see it. We gotta we gotta find that first one. That one is injured, we gotta put it down. Yep. Heel. Heel. Okay, we're really bad. Two up there. I honestly kind of purposely missed that because it was coming down. I saw Mac in my peripherals. So I might have actually hit that one. They're going to be anywhere right up here, left or right. Yep. I don't know if it's going to be able to take off again. It might. He's on him. Too far. Too far for me. I couldn't see anything. There's another. Yeah. Mac, where's the other bird? I'm gonna walk in just a hair, see if I can flush it a third time. Another one. Another one up here. It just flushed it, I don't know where it went. I just flushed it from right here. Right under these spruce trees. Is it in the tree? Of course, he's sitting right next to the car. No, I, I have no idea where it went. I just heard it. I bet it went across. Were you looking this way the whole time? Oh. I don't know. Shoot. Well, I feel bad that bird is injured. Yeah. I had one get away from me two weeks ago like that. I felt terrible. All right, we gave her we gave her a little bit of time looking after those two birds and just nothing. One of them did it. end up getting back up and flushed away hard. We didn't have a shot at it. It was through so much thick brush and then the first one uh, we spooked up another one here right before the car. The car's right there, and we were just in this span of trees here. But no dice there. It's still just so thick. I'm shocked for the middle of October how many leaves are still up. It's truly crazy. We are going to hop in the car and get part of our drive back to the cities done. We may hop out in uh, somewhere around the Moose Lake area and may look for more birds down that way, but... With it being this windy, I uh, I don't know. I don't know how much more walking we're gonna do if it's this windy. It's not like you can't flush birds, but it is a lot harder.